And so we have large language models, for example. No one expected that to happen five years ago. Right. And we had them two years ago, but they didn't work very well. So it began a little less than two years ago that we could actually do large language models. And, and that was very much a surprise to everybody. That's probably the primary example of exponential growth. We had Sam Altman on. One of the things that he and I were talking about was that AI figured out a way to lie, that they used AI to go through a CAPTCHA system, and the AI told the system that it was vision impaired, which is not technically a lie, but it used it to bypass, well, are you a robot? What we don't know now is for, for large language models to say they don't know something. So you ask it a question, the answer to that question is not in the system. It still comes up with an answer. So it'll look at everything and give it its best answer. And if the, the best answer is not there, it still gives you an answer, but that's uh, considered a, a hallucination. And we know- A hallucination? That's what it's called. Really? Uh, AI hallucination. They cannot be wrong. They have to so be able far, to answer things. we're actually working on being able to tell if it doesn't know something. So if you ask it something and say, oh, well, I, I don't know that. Right now, it can't do that. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So it, it, it gives you some answer. And if the answer's not there, it just like, makes something up. It's the best answer, but the best answer isn't very good because mm -hmm. it doesn't know the answer. And the way to fix hallucinations is to actually give it more capabilities to memorize things and and give it more information so it knows the answer to it. If you if you tell uh, an answer to a question, it will remember that and give you that correct answer. But these models are not, we don't know everything. And it, it has to, we have to be able to scan an answer to every single question, which we can't quite do. And it'd be actually better if it could actually answer, well, gee, I don't know that. And Particularly, like, say, when it comes to exploration of the universe, if there's a certain amount of, vast amount of the universe we have not explored. So if it has to answer questions about that, it would right. just come and up with an answer? Right. It'll just come up with an answer, which will likely be wrong. That's interesting. But that, that would be a real problem if someone was counting on the AI to have a solution for something too soon, right? Right. They, they don't know everything. Search engines actually know are pretty well vetted, and if it actually answers something, it'll it, it's usually correct. Unless but, it's curated. But large language models don't have that capability. It'd be good, actually, if they knew th that they were wrong. they would also tell us what we have to fix. What about the, the idea that uh, AI models are influenced by ideology, that AI models have been programmed with certain ideologies? They do learn from people, and people have ideologies, some, right. of which are, some of which are not correct. And, that, and that's a large way in which uh, it will make things up because it's learning from people. Right. Right now, if somebody has access to a good uh, search engine, they will check before they actually answer something with the search engine to make sure that it's correct. Because search engines are, are generally much more accurate. When it comes to uh, this idea that people enter information into a uh, computer and then the computer relies on that ideology, do you anticipate that with uh, artificial general intelligence it will be agnostic to ideology, that it will be able to reach a point where instead of deciding things based on social norms or whatever the well, culture is uh, accepted currently, that it would look at things more objectively and rationally? Well, eventually, eventually, but we still call it artificial general intelligence, even if it didn't do that. And people certainly do are influenced uh, by whatever their people that they respect feel is correct, and, and will be as influenced by as people are. And we'll still call it artificial general intelligence. We are starting to check what uh, large language models come up with with search engines, and that's actually making them more correct. But we have to actually continue on this curve. We need more data to be able to store everything. This is not enough data to be able to store everything correctly. This is a large amounts of, of, the, of large language models for which we don't have storage for the data. So that's what's holding us back is data and storage? We also have to have the correct storage. That's really where the effort is going 
to be able to get rid of these hallucinations. That's a fun thing to say, hallucinations in terms of artificial <laughs> intelligence.